Let's find out together. During the boiling process of wort, due to protein denaturation and coagulation and continuous oxidation of polyphenols, this produces a lot of thermal coagulations. These thermal coagulations can adversely affect beer color, foam properties, bitterness, and mouthfeel. So we're going to separate out these thermal coagulations after the wort has finished boiling. The main methods of separating these thermal coagulations are as follows. Settling tank method, centrifuge method, diatomaceous earth filter method, and gyratory sedimentation tank method. Most breweries use the gyratory sedimentation tank method compared to other separation equipment. The structure of the gyratory sedimentation tank is simpler, the operation is more convenient, and the separation effect is better. After boiling, the hot wort is pumped into the sedimentation tank along the tangential direction to form a rotating flow. After the whirling effect, the thermal coagulation particles in the wort are finally deposited in the center of the bottom of the trough in the form of a mound, to achieve solid liquid separation. The bottom of the gyratory sedimentation tank will have a 2% slope. The clear wort will slowly flow out from the outlet and enter the next process. If you want to learn more about brewing beer, be sure to follow us.